Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, it is our great pleasure uh, to have an opportunity to make a presentation here. Uh, we, J Power, is working for uh, the power uh, generation and wholesale and supply in Japan uh, for more than uh, 40 years. And uh, during that course, uh, we are developing the coal gasification technology uh, at the initial uh, to, uh, to make the, the efficiency higher uh, for the output of the power generation. Uh, but that technology uh, also can be uh, applied to the uh, uh, gasification and hydrogen production. Uh, so uh, we think the, uh, that technology uh, can be uh, uh, useful uh, for future hydrogen energy supply. So uh, I would like to start with uh, the, uh, the hydrogen, uh, hydrogen energy supply chain, as already uh, mentioned in the uh, previous session. Uh, as noted previously, uh, uh, there are uh, many, uh, uh, many variation and combination uh, in terms of the production of hydrogen and transportation and consumption. Uh, reg uh, reg uh, regarding the uh, production of hydrogen, uh, as pointed out in uh, the presentation by Dr. Finkel, uh, we have some uh, 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 the primary uh, source of hydrogen energy. Uh, uh, the major, uh, one of the most prospect one is, of course, uh, renewable hydrogen uh, from solar and uh, wind energy. Uh, but also, we are seeing the, uh, the technology uh, producing hydrogen using coal gasification. And of course, uh, the coal gasification technology uh, 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 emits uh, some, uh, some amount of carbon dioxide, and uh, it's essential to combine with uh, carbon uh, capture and sequestration. Uh, uh, to say more uh, uh, correctly, uh, the carbon net project is now going on, uh, going on and uh, in future, uh, we are seeing the possibility of the combination with carbon net project in future. And regarding the transportation, uh, the, some uh, company uh, uh, developing the technology of transportation, uh, uh, especially for export to Japan. Uh, one of the possibility is brick fraction, uh, as developed in the, by the Kawasaki heavy industry. And the other is uh, uh, in the form of ammonia or uh, the uh, carbon, organi uh, uh, carbon uh, organic hydride. <laughs> Uh, these three uh, technologies are now developing, and the mo uh, each of the technology has their uh, own advantage and disadvantage, and currently the cost level is close to the same. And then, uh, 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 so, uh, then why we are seeking the combination of coal uh, gasification and uh, uh, liquefaction? I suppose the, uh, the diversification of the source of hydrogen energy is a key. And the next question, how to get optimistic diversification? Uh, so I think the uh, key is fitting with regional local conditions. Uh, here in Lateral Barre is very rich in natural resources and also pointed out by <laughs> previous representation uh, of both, uh, wind, uh, wind, uh, wind uh, power resources. And also uh, the uh, offshore uh, uh, the uh, capacity of the carbon sequestration is available offshore Gippsland. So uh, the, this combination uh, is the best suit uh, to find uh, to uh, uh, to seek the possibility of both uh, coal <laughs> gasification hydrogen production and uh, renewable source hydrogen. Uh, in terms of the uh, economical viewpoint, both two sources may be competitive in future, but in terms of the security of supply, uh, the uh, renewable hydrogen and coal gasification hydrogen, it should be a uh, supplemental each other. Uh, because the renewable hydrogen, its production is variable and intermittent. And uh, it is very difficult to, to meet with uh, demand uh, on time. 
uh, but uh, the coal gas station hydrogen uh, can produce stable supply of hydrogen uh, to the distribution network. So I think the, in terms of energy security and uh, stable supply, uh, I think the, uh, the, uh, both uh, method is supplementary each other. Uh, so regarding the uh, economical competitiveness, uh, the Japanese government estimates the uh, hydrogen energy cost level in 2030 and more. Uh, the the left-hand side uh, bar chart uh, shows the uh, cost level of the hydrogen energy uh, in Japan uh, uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the chain of uh, coal gas creation, liquefaction, and export, and load un unloaded in Japan. Uh, the cost level is 29.7 yen uh, per normal cubic meters, but uh, this is equivalent to about uh, three US dollars per kilogram uh, hydrogen. And then the Japan government seeing the more uh, cost reduction in future, maybe in 2050s. Uh, the cost level is 30 yen per uh, normal cubic meters, uh, equivalent to uh, uh, 1.3 US dollars per kilogram. Uh, this cost level is uh, the close to the same, uh, same level of the uh, uh, LNG, uh, uh, yeah, LNG price level in Japan. So I, th I believe that uh, in future, uh, uh, coal gas station hydrogen uh, could become uh, economically competitive with other sources of energy, I think. So uh, we are seeking the business opportunity in future using our gas station technology and uh, uh, hydrogen energy supply to the market. Uh, our product is named the Hydrogen Energy Supply Chain Project, uh, to say shortly, HES project. Uh, this product is uh, mainly composed of three parts. Uh, one is the uh, hydrogen gas production at Rattle Valley, and the second is transportation by truck uh, to, uh, from Rattle Valley to Port of Hastings. And then uh, the third element is the uh, liquefaction, hydrogen liquefaction, and the transport by ship uh, uh, and uh, loaded uh, at Port of Hastings. Uh, our J Power, uh, oh, this, uh, the main objectives of this project is to demonstrate uh, technology viability uh, of hydrogen production, transportation, and export to Japan. Uh, then, uh, for, for our part, uh, JPOWER takes a part of our, uh, our gas station and hydrogen production, and our main objective is to examine brown coal applicability uh, of, uh, to the gas station and hydrogen production technology. Uh, because gas station technology, uh, our company has already uh, developed for 30 years, and uh, now, uh, by using uh, hard coal, uh, as, uh, uh, as explained by, uh, uh, in the flyer on your, uh, on your table, uh, the Osaka Kurgen product is now going to become the uh, commercial level, and our summer uh, power engineer uh, expect uh, this gas station technology will become uh, commercially viable in early 2020s. So, uh, but we need to examine the applicability of the brown coal uh, to our gas station technology. Uh, once uh, we have some confidence of the, uh, of the applicability of the brown coal to, uh, to our technology, uh, we may seriously consider about the commercialization of hydrogen production in lateral valley. Uh, uh, back to the pilot product, uh, uh, this product is uh, uh, the many partners joining to the, uh, this project and make uh, form the consortium. Uh, especially uh, we, are, uh, we would like to uh, appreciate deeply for the Victorian government and Japanese government uh, for its uh, fund, uh, funding contribution and also uh, we would like to express our special thanks to AGL uh, because uh, uh, without uh, their cooperation, 
this project doesn't become realized. Uh, a little bit uh, introduction uh, to uh, our company, J-Power. Our company is power generation company having its capacity of to uh, uh, totaling 24.5 uh, gigawatt. And then uh, the, uh, our, uh, our portfolio of the power generation, uh, about half is uh, occupied by coal power generation, but others, uh, other half occupied by hydrogen pro uh, power generation and also wind power, pro uh, wind power, pro uh, power generation. And our J-Power is uh, the second largest hydropower generation company in Japan, and also the second largest power, uh, uh, wind power generation company in Japan. And then, so uh, to say shortly, uh, uh, J-Power is seek, uh, seeking the, uh, the power uh, source diversification uh, of in uh, electricity supply. And then back to uh, HESC project again. Uh, our JPOR part is uh, uh, coal gasification uh, and hydrogen production uh, at Royan. Uh, it it composed of two parts. One is the pilot gasification plant at Royan, uh, aiming uh, the, uh, the uh, the characteristics of brown coal. Uh, for gasification. And then the brown coal, uh, some amount will be exported to Japan and uh, uh, using for gasification at uh, demonstration scale uh, plant uh, in our research institute in Japan. And uh, the produced hydrogen will be transported by truck and then liquefied at Port of Hastings, then uh, export to Japan by ship. This part is uh, 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 carried out by uh, uh, Kawasaki Heavy Industry, uh, Iwatani Corporation, uh, Shell Japan. And uh, the followed by, uh, so uh, I would like to pass the, uh, this presentation to our uh, managing director, Mr. Omata. He is a very specialist of how, uh, how to make hydrogen uh, from brown coal. Uh, today, I'm talking about our technology. Uh, this is a flow diagram of the pilot plant, uh, which is located in AG Loyan site. Uh, the pilot plant consists of, co uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, consists of coal preparation, gasification, gas cleanup, hydrogen production, and uh, hydrogen compression facilities. Uh, in coal, coal pre-treatment, uh, fine coal uh, is produced. Uh, I'll touch on the next slide for coal gasification. Uh, coal syn gas includes impurities like sulfur compound and halides. Such impurity is removed with uh, catalyst. Also, uh, main component of syn gas is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide uh, can be converted to hydrogen uh, with reacting steam. After that, uh, hydrogen is recovered uh, by using PSA. In this case, uh, hydrogen purity is 99.999%. That's why uh, we use uh, two-stage PSA in order to uh, increase hydrogen recovery ratio. The hydrogen is compressed, uh, and the uh, compressed hydrogen is uh, transported to Port of Hastings. Next, uh, I'm talking about uh, 
gasification facility. Uh, fine coal uh, is stored in a uh, coal feed hopper uh, in the atmospheric pressure. After that, uh, feed hopper is pressurized up to, to, up to about 3 megapascal. Fine coal uh, is sent to a gas fire uh, with nitrogen. Gas pressure pressure is about uh, 2.5 megapascal. The coal seam gas is cooled to, by using uh, two coolers. This gas fire uh, produces uh, 100 normal cubic meter hour per hour uh, seam gas. Uh, this is a plant site. Uh, our plant site is located between existing coal bunker and uh, Royal A power station. This is an uh, image of our uh, pilot plant. Uh, this is a coal pre treatment facility. Uh, this is coal gasification. Uh, here is a gas cleanup facility. And here is a uh, hydrogen compression facility. Uh, coal is uh, transported to our site by truck. Our construction work uh, will start uh, soon. Uh, in this plant, uh, Usually, a uh, Monday and day Tuesday, uh, we produce fine coal, and uh, from Tuesday to Wednesday, we will operate our gas fire, and uh, for uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, we will do uh, maintenance work. So, uh, we will operate our gas fire uh, once a week. And, uh, one operation make uh, hydrogen of 70 uh, kilogram. Okay. Uh, we named uh, our gas fire EGO, uh, which stands for uh, coal energy application for gas liquid and electricity. Uh, this means uh, gasification for multiple purposes such as uh, gas uh, like hydrogen or synthetic gas, uh, liquid like uh, methanol, and uh, electricity. Of course, it, it means uh, power generation. This is the future of our gas fire. Uh, main feature uh, is Two stage and spiral flow. In a gas fire, uh, coal ash uh, have to be melted because uh, melting ash is discharged from the bottom of the gas fire. That's why uh, lower section of the gas fire uh, keep high temperature. However, uh, high temperature causes to decrease gasification efficiency. So uh, we use two stage. Uh, I mean, uh, two stage, uh, lower stage become high temperature uh, to inject more hydrogen. In contrast, uh, upper stage is lean in oxygen. That's why. Uh, by using this gas fire, uh, higher gasification efficiency and stable slum discharge are compatible. This slide shows uh, single composition of our gas fire. Uh, main component is main component of single gas is carbon acid. 
carbon monoxide. But the carbon monoxide uh, can be converted to hydrogen uh, by using water gas shift reaction. After that, uh, hydrogen, uh, carbon dioxide uh, is removed. After removing carbon dioxide, Singas has about 85% uh, of hydrogen. Uh, this is uh, the case of using nitrogen as a coal transportation gas. But uh, in, a hydro, in a gasification plant with CO2 capture, we can use carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is used for or coal transportation gas. Such case, uh, hydrogen rich gas had over 90% of hydrogen. Such uh, over 90% hydrogen is enough for some users, uh, such as injecting hydrogen uh, into existing gas network. This is uh, our experience for or developing the gas fire. We have developed our gas fire uh, step by step, especially uh, we had operate uh, Eagle Pilot Plant uh, for over 10 years, and uh, we have gotten much experience. This photo shows uh, our Eagle Pilot Plant in Wakamas Research Institute. Uh, this is a gasification structure. The height is about uh, 50 meters. Mm. Also, uh, we have developed uh, carbon dioxide removal technologies by using uh, chemical adsorption and uh, physical adsorption. Such carbon dioxide removal facility had much, many parameters. In this plant, we changed uh, such parameters and uh, optimized the pilot plant. Based on uh, such experience, now we are operating semi-commercial coal gasification power plant, uh, which name is uh, Osaki Kurgen. Osaki Kurgen plant has about uh, 1,200 tons per day coal capacity. This is a power plant and uh, produce uh, electricity of uh, 170 megawatts. Now we are installing uh, additional uh, carbon dioxide capture facility. It is under construction. This is a power plant, but uh, if we use this plant for hydrogen production, this plant uh, produce about 100 ton hydrogen of day, per day. Finally, uh, I would like to say, I hope hydrogen from Victorian brown coal become helpful developing the future for children. Thank you.